Hello my friends and welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be explaining how to upgrade your battery cell, your Zonai battery cell in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is kind of a two birds one stone because I'm also going to be explaining all the different Zonai devices, at least not in detail but to a uh, general extent and the Zonai materials because there's kind of a lot it feels kind of overwhelming at first but it's a lot simpler than you may think so if you do enjoy this video if you find it useful be sure to leave a like it really helps the channel uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to stick around for future tears of the kingdom and nintendo content as well all right let's go ahead and jump into this so as you may have seen in the gameplay from this from mr aonuma before the game came out uh, there's a bunch of different Zonai devices and you can craft a lot of these devices using ultra hand and some of them, you know, they have, uh, let's say, like a flame emitter, or some of them may be like a light, or a rocket, or fans, and they use up battery. Now, you get this battery cell initially through your story playthrough, I'm not going to say how, but it's, uh, you'll, you'll get it very early on in the game, let's just say that. Furthermore, early on in the game, when you're, when you're kind of in this area, which is going to be in the sky area, you can find uh, this location, I'll show you guys on the map right now, uh, you can find this location, uh, which is kind of in the southern area. And uh, if you go through kind of like this mining uh, area, the mining cave, I believe it was, uh, it'll bring you down here to this forge construct. Now, when you get to this forge construct, you're going to find, uh, it'll, give you an, it'll give you an example of uh, a bunch of different kind of Zonai, I guess, ore that you can break and it'll have a stick and a rock close by so you can actually use the fuse ability to fuse the, the rock to the stick to act as a hammer so you can break the ore and it'll drop these things called Zonai. Uh, material. Now, Zonite material comes into two different kinds of forms. There's just the normal one, and then there's the large Zonite as well, which is basically a higher concentration. Now, if you read the description, basically it says that it's an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. So you can use it for different things, but we're talking about uh, more of a specific thing in this video. Now, regarding Zonite material what you can do like i said is come to these forge constructs now there's going to be a couple other locations i'll give you guys a, a little spoiler warning because there's kind of a spoilery area but i do have to mention it very briefly because this is another place where you can get the zonite material so obviously in the sky you can find some of these zonite ores and break them up uh, but when you find these constructs you can go ahead and you can buy two different things you can exchange them for two different things the first one is a zonite charge now basically what zonite charges are is if you use it it's going to uh increase the battery life right it's going to give you a little bit more battery it's like eating food that increases your stamina so you get a little bit of a boost of stamina uh but this is for you know anything that's using battery so let's say you're flying something with you know uh that, that's using the the wind propellers and you're running low on the battery charge you pop one of these and it'll give you a little bit more also it has uh, a, a level two fuse attack power so you can also use it for fusing things but also there's these dispensers zonai de device dispensers that kind of look like those things you you find in the mall where you put a dollar in and you turn it and you get a toy out of it you'll find them located across the map uh in the region all around the world there's one just outside of Terrytown, if you're you know wondering and if you if you deposit zonite charges into these things again you can find uh them all over the world uh it'll pop out these various different devices now the, the thing that's good about these zonai devices is they're basically portable devices so they could be like fans it could be like flame emitters uh light different things like that which is useful because you can just pop that out of your inventory at any time to use if there's none close by which again will really help you get into a pinch so that's the first thing you can use uh these zonite materials to exchange for the zonite charges which is again very useful for that regard the second thing are these things called crystallized charges. Now, crystallized charges are fragments of crystal made by condensing zonite charges produced from zonite, said to be used for energy cell improvement. So we're going to be using this at a different location to expand our energy cell itself. For example, if I was to go into my inventory, which I'm going to have to probably crop like crazy to avoid other spoilers, uh, you can see that I currently have an expansion on my energy cell, and I'll show you guys how I got that. Basically, now I have more battery in my energy cell. So what we're going to do for that, we're going to go on the map. And if you look again, there's actually one very close by. It's called a crystal refinery, also in the Sky Island. Again, this is one of the first Sky Islands you're going to go to very early in the game. But there are other locations as well. There's one uh, right outside of Lookout Landing. I'm not going to, I guess, I'm going to try not to show you where that is, but it's basically 
part of the story very early on in the game. If you go to Lookout Landing uh, and you you go just outside of it, uh, you'll see where it is. Again, I'll show you guys more of this later in the video, but I'm trying to be more or I guess less spoilery in the early part of the video. Okay, so this one up here is right by a shrine in the sky area. Again, I'm not going to go to that shrine, but if you go talk to the steward construct, and this is kind of what it looks like right here. Uh, it's basically going to tell you it's a crystal refinery and that they can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Now, the gameplay I have of actually doing that is from a different location, uh, obviously not in the sky. So at this point, a little bit of spoilers, but uh, very minor for now. And I'll give you a little bit of warning when I'll go a little bit deeper into the spoiler territory. So you can see gameplay right now on screen of actually, you know, exchanging it for energy cells and how the energy cell increases. And I go from your standard you know default that you start out with which three bars of battery and I get an extra two bars of battery so every 100 uh, crystallized charges will give you one extra bar of battery basically which is called an energy well so again 100 gives you one energy well uh, so the more you get the more battery the more charges you'll have and longer your uh, devices basically your zone eye devices will will last before they kind of you know uh, run out of battery so at this point I'm going to show you guys a couple other locations to find some of these kind of crystal places the constructs uh and whatnot the forge basically and the uh refinery as well as where to get zonite material so this is getting a little bit more into kind of exploration spoiler nothing with the story uh but there it's going to go into a kind of a, a place you may not know even exists in the game so if you want to click off the video now i would do so if you don't mind minor or I guess mild kind of uh, exploration story, not non-story based, excuse me, uh, spoilers, then proceed and let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing is that there's a crystal refinery right outside of Lookout Landing, which is right kind of like in the middle uh, just south of the uh, Hyrule kind of castle town ruins, the central square. Again, this is kind of the main hub you're going to be going to a lot in the game. Uh, and you can see just slightly northeast right outside of the gate, there's a crystal refinery. Right from the tower, the Skyview Tower, you can actually see right to the left, it's right over there. See where, where I'm looking at? Right there. Uh, it's right there. I can't actually climb up right now because it's raining and uh, whatnot. But again, the on the other side of that pillar right there, on the other side of this pillar, is the... Uh, the little Zonai person, or whatever you call them, to exchange your uh, crystallized charges, excuse me, for the, the battery wells, to increase your battery space. So that's the uh, first location. Now we're getting into like the deeper spoiler area, area, and literally deeper. So if you go on the map, you can see these red kind of uh, locations. They look like kind of holes, if you will, chasms. And that's because they are. So there's a bunch scattered across the map. Uh, the little kind of, I guess, swirly brown thing in the middle means that I've, I have went down those already. Uh, so there's one on top of Death Mountain, for example, over here. Uh, and if you go down them, it's going to lead you down into an underground place called the Depths. Uh, and this is where I'm saying that you probably didn't know this even existed. Now, going from Central Hyrule, where I'm at right here, if you actually see just kind of south, there's a place called Great Abandoned Central Mine. And right here, uh, you can actually go and see that there's another forge construct. And this one actually gives you large uh, versions of the of the crystals and of the um, the energy. I forget what they're called. I, I just drew a blank. Uh, but anyways, they, they give you large versions of those as well. Now, in this down kind of underground area, you can also get a bunch of material. Um, so I'm going to try not to actually show you guys what the underground place looks like just to not, you know, spoil it for you guys. But basically the ores that we smashed, you can find a bunch of those down there. Uh, you can get some from defeating enemies sometimes, uh, that'll drop some and different things like that. Just, you know, you explore open chests and you can find a bunch of, you know, material that way as well. Now, in terms of getting to the central abandoned mine, uh, here, uh, if you go from basically like right here, so this is, uh, a fast travel location that you can unlock but right here is the little chasm so if you look at the map right here this is where it's located just kind of south of hyrule I zoom in you can see where it is it's basically the great plateau north chasm so it's on the very north part right by the wall of the great plateau if you go through there it'll lead you if you just go south right to this uh, location in the great abandoned central mine and again there's a bunch of chasms you can jump into and explore and all that good stuff so once you do that again you're pretty much good to go uh you can increase your battery cell and your uh zonai uh devices are going to last a little bit longer so i hope this explanation even though a little bit lengthy helped you guys out and uh 
that helped you get a little bit better of a grasp and understanding on the whole Zonite devices and Zonite charges and all that. And it could be a lot. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon in another one. Until then, game on and thanks for watching.